Okay, so I've just come back from an extremely radicalizing Extinction Rebellion protest. And I've been thinking about what I can do, what kind of decision I can make for myself, which will help to ensure the greatest possible change of my creative works. And I kind of, I've realized that I am of the age group who was raised addicted to YouTube. I watch so much YouTube every day, and I know I've done like a cold turkey computer video before, but I'm gonna try as hard as I can to not go on youtube.com except to upload for the next month. Today is April 15th, and basically I'm gonna check in every day for a month um, with my thoughts and feelings. Okay, this is day one because I have not gone on YouTube today. And we'll see what happens when I get home and what I end up doing for the rest of the month. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, day two, sans YouTube. It's going pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. I've been very busy. I'm currently at well, that didn't give it away, but I'm at Luton Airport on my way to visit my best friend in Greece. Um, yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'll be on the move today, so it won't be a problem, but yeah. I've made it. Blessed be. Um, obviously, not in need of YouTube out here. Uh, things are going well. Um, I'm finishing a lot more stuff, which is... Just totally positive. Okay. Okay, checking in again from the bar in the day. Um, yeah, I've had no problems. I turned in my screenplay today. So soon, I'm sure I'll be craving a good old YouTube. But as of now, Coolin sans YouTube. Okay, day four off YouTube. Not hard. We went to the Acropolis and I saw the Pantheon. So. Yeah, I don't know, you know, no no, no video can compare. I'll see you tomorrow back in London. Um, yesterday I failed the, <clears throat> the challenge. I'm back in London, I got off the plane, I came back, I woke up at 2.30 London time, and I had like two hours of like pure smooth brain, and I couldn't not. What do you do? when you need like not so long to relax, just a little bit of time to relax instead of going on YouTube. I'm like, well, I could like go in my backyard and watch the birds trip. And then I realized, no, I'm, I live in London, so I can't do that. So I'm about to do the same thing. I just come back. I have like, a, I need to take like 40 minute break before I jump back into the, all the crap that I have to do. But I'm like, well, what else am I gonna do? Besides that, leave it what you do in the comments. Okay, morning of day, I don't know, five. Um, I've been good today so far, but it is very early. But I woke up. Oh, cute doggy. <laughs> anyway, I woke up way too early. I woke up before six just because I'm transitioning back from Athens hours to London hours. But checking with you tomorrow to see how I'm doing. <laughs> Hello! I didn't I didn't check in yesterday but I was most absolutely not on YouTube. Um so no worries there. And it's the beginning of today. Um so far I've only slipped up twice. Which is honestly kinda heavy and I feel kinda weird about it but it's okay. I've been working hard and been tired. Um but yeah today I'm just in Brighton under the sun and um yeah. Hello, I'm on my way back from work and I haven't watched YouTube all day, but holy crap, are there two videos that I saw the little, you know, the little screens? I can't remember what they're called. Saw those for when I was looking up how to fix a premiere bug from my favorites. And um, I don't know, I'm probably gonna watch them. Even though I know that I said I wouldn't. 
And the whole point of this exercise is to like develop a new activity with which I can relax because YouTube is always like, when I come home after a long day's work, I just watch a couple YouTube videos to relax. And I really wanna fucking do that right now. Um, but the point is to be strong in an attempt to reprogram my mind, but I'm probably gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm at work and yes, I did watch some YouTube yesterday and felt nourished by it. So don't come for me. Um, but today for work, um, basically, I am going to start a TikTok for the person I'm working for. So I've been on TikTok, which so far, because the algorithm is like not, you know, not for me and not singularized for my taste yet, it feels crazy. And I feel like I've been on YouTube for like five years just for being on like crazy like uh you know cake talk and shit like that anyway i'll check in tomorrow but i'm not gonna go on youtube today mm -mm, nah. it's almost midday we're, we're good so far um i don't think i'll get into it i'm about to be really busy so yeah today's good last night no youtube i just Watched the last half of Midsummer, which I think is maybe the best film ever shot digitally. Hm. Um, I didn't do one yesterday, but that's because I had like absolutely zero amount of downtime, really. Um, yeah, today I'm like very, very tempted, but I'm not going to. But I did download TikTok for, not just for personal reasons, but also for work reasons. So, I don't know if it's a good idea to like, instead of watching YouTube, watch TikTok because that could just get me more addicted to something that would just take up the place of YouTube. Basically, I don't feel any less on the grid, off the grid. I feel more on the grid now. But also way more busy. So. Yeah. IDK. I'm still procrastinating as we speak. Which was kind of the main reason I stopped. So. Maybe the YouTube isn't the. Ground zero of the issue. I'll do some thinking. Get back to you tomorrow. So I'm walking home. Um, yesterday I was a good girl. I was really about to do it. But instead, I went on TikTok and got deep into theory TikTok. Um, and that leads me to the following conclusion, which is I find myself at a crossroads right now where I understand what it means to be alienated and to feel that there is something inherently off and wrong about the world and to seek theory and philosophy and radical opinions in order to shift this underlying sensation. But I also feel completely imminent and accepted and loved by the people who are around me. Um, and I could continue like a less critical, more experiential path. Um, and because I'm c conscious of both of these options and I view them as options, right? I have to choose what I put my faith in, which is why I've chosen to stop watching YouTube. Because I feel like, of all of my habits, that is the one that is the most brain-numbing that is normal to me. So, it's a bit sad, right? Because I've lost a bit of my radical identity because I've been accepted by community. But at the same time, I want to... that Being radical is part of who I am, so I have to make these rash decisions. Um, more on that tomorrow. We'll see how I do today. Big success. Another day sans YouTube. Another day missing YouTube. Um, I'm convinced <coughs> now that, oh, I did that whole massive rant yesterday morning. Yeah, I didn't sleep much that night. Um, yeah, I'm convinced that, uh, 
moderation is the only way to achieve balance, but YouTube doesn't allow for moderation with me. That's why I'm the same. <laughs> Hello, yes, another successful day off YouTube. However, realizing that since I downloaded TikTok for work, it's really just replaced YouTube. Which is scary because it's even shorter format, fucks with my attention span less, and I would rather be addicted to YouTube than TikTok. So I think my plan is I'm going to delete my TikTok until I really need to get to like start using it for work. Because it, to me, is like, it's like re replace something bad with something worse. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Another successful day in a life sans YouTube. Hello, another day coming from me in a slightly hungover mode, admittedly. But um, I have a couple things I have to do today, although I simply do not care to do them. However, oh, I'm gonna put you down. However, I have realized that being disallowing myself from going on YouTube is making it way easier to sit down and start my tasks on my computer. Um, and it's really great because I think it's kind of demonstrating what it would be like if my hobbies were not computer-based. Um, so yeah, I'm about to start writing an essay about a film, super chill, whereas previously I would have signed on to YouTube and procrastinated for a little while. Um, yeah, I think that's the news. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Well, I broke it last night. I watched one YouTube video before going to sleep. Um, I was tired. No excuses, no excuses. Um, although, on the flip side, I did have a good instinct where I, instead of reading, was called... I mean, instead of watching YouTube videos, I was called to pick up a book, which basically hasn't happened since... Um, I like lived off the grid <laughs> so that's actually like a positive change obviously I didn't have time to read it and I was simultaneously procrastinating for something that I needed to do so basically what I'm gonna try to do um, when I finish school when I have like less work I can do on my downtime is to actually read instead of watch YouTube videos and see how that feels so I'll be starting that in on the 16th, which is my last day of school. Okay. So today was maybe not a great success, but a menial success. Um, I had a final and I had a bunch of stuff to do, but I decided instead of going on YouTube, I was gonna watch some of the Linklater collection on Criterion, which is so good. Um, but then I watched one little video. I just ate a big meal, so I'm tired, and I just got a home, but not gonna do it. Not gonna watch YouTube. I'm going to instead, um, yesterday, today, started reading a book, a novel. Wait, oh my god, I look good. Okay, that's toxic. Well, not really. Anyway, that's a whole other video. But yeah, I started reading a book, which is this book on the bus. You know, I'm like kind of realizing my reading retention has gone down, but I'm committed to reading this book and I'm on page six so um yeah i'll keep going i'll keep you updated but today is the 16th or 17th of may so every time i want to watch a youtube video now instead i have to read this book i'll let you know how that goes addendum i'm giving myself permission to watch every video that kelly mckenzie puts out because she's my favorite so i've been successful so far today um, however, I have gone on TikTok for probably like four hours or something insane, but in kind of like an unapologetic, like I'm on, it's the first day of my hardcore period kind of way, maybe. 
Um, I don't know. I don't feel any regrets. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing. I feel no shame. Okay, I feel a little bit of shame. But nothing too crazy. Just count my California upbringing or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the 411. Hello. Um, things are good. I've moved house. Um, and today I've uploaded a YouTube video. And when I was on the home screen, I didn't dare. <laughs> Sorry about this angle, I gotta say. <laughs> um, update, I've been thinking, and I, uh, I don't know what benefits I've seen as of yet from this YouTube fast. I don't feel the way that it has changed my mind. I still crave watching YouTube videos. And I know maybe that means I should extend the fast more, see what happens. Um, I will say I have been writing more, I have been reading more, but not to the point where the way I do those things have changed or like the way that I crave different actions have changed. Um, yeah, but we're not well we've just passed the halfway point wait what is today have i already done it i need to double check what day i've started but yeah basically idk as of yet of how it's made me feel but i just know that means i have i should be doing it longer but maybe i don't want to commit to that right now but when else am i going to commit to that also i love youtube like is it worth it i don't know I just looked at the dates of the challenge and I've done it. I've passed it. I've done it for five extra days. So um, I think I'm just gonna uh, watch YouTube now. <laughs> so today's the day that I um, review this experiment. Okay, sorry, I'm looking at myself, not at the camera. I'll look at you. Um, so, not going on YouTube for a whole month was not so bad. I mean, obviously, I didn't do totally well. It's just that feeling of when you're exhausted and you want to go home. You ne I need to retrain that feeling. Um, and then there's also the, the vibe of, like, when you're at home and maybe you have a long morning and you have nothing to do, instead of, like, watching like an hour-long deep dive on Sid and Nancy, I could write 10 pages. You know, there's that. So I feel like that intention, the latter intention, I achieved. I got so much, I wrote an entire screenplay in the time that um, I did this experiment. Um, but I think that it depends on the way that my life is structured as well. Um, yeah, I think Oh no, the construction. I think it's really good. It was really good quitting YouTube, but the there there is the reality that I do love it. So I think what I wanna do in my life is figure out a way in which YouTube becomes becomes something that I can indulge in on like Sundays. I think that's a good rule for myself. Um, so YouTube starting now is either like, like something that I, I partake in when I'm like completely dead and I couldn't be working if I tried or it's the weekend and I need to give myself a fucking break because YouTube in my mind is like taking a break the best break with a lot of movies and a lot of tv shows i want to watch something that i need to pay attention to youtube is something i can have on the background i can be thinking about other stuff but i can just like be cleaning my rooms you know the drill so i'm going to continue with that mode 
And then obviously it's a constant tending to, you know, quitting for one month does not break a 10 year habit, you know? And I'm okay with having YouTube be a part of my life because it just is a part of my life. And it hasn't melted my brain completely yet as long as it's balanced by like genuinely, you know, impactful brain stimulating activities, which the day that comes is uh, the day I die. But you know what I mean? Um, that's, that's a problem that I have identified and will, will like figure out a mode of solving. Um, I think I just had a, a bit of a pandemic brain melt. But I, I'm, I see the light. Well, no, I'm in the light now. I quit YouTube. Anyway, okay, you have a good day. <laughs>